What's going on, guys? How are you, my friends? Welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, Road to Kingdom Hearts 3, all that good stuff. So, look, I know it's been a little while since our last episode. Uh, I was getting my editing software from my work that I've now been let go from. So now I've got my software back. I've got the, I'm uh, using Premiere Pro, but now I've got the student pricing and all that stuff set up. So we're back! And we're in Wonderland. All right, rabbit going in a hole. And there it is. We are gigantic. Uh, push, push this bed. I did not know that that was gonna do that. Where else are you gonna push that bed to? That bed is really big for this room, right? Like, all of this furniture is kind of How large. How did get so small? Uh, no, you're simply too big. Hmm. That's a real thinker. Real thinker. Must you be so loud? You woke me yeah, up. That doorknob dropping some existential knowledge on you. Good morning. Good night. Ha! I need a bit. I like more this guy. Sleep. Wait. Ooh. What do we have to do to grow small? Why don't you try the bottle? Want to get like super Over drunk? There. Then you might feel like everything is really big, right? I don't know. Okay, uh, let's just drink it. We have no idea what it is. It's probably just like liquid LSD that we're pouring right down our throats, which would actually explain a lot of Wonderland. Oh, excuse my voice if I'm a little, uh, if I'm a little uh, congested sounding today. I have a little bit of a cold. I'm getting over it, but it is there. Let's take these guys out. Ooh. I am just so freaking excited to be out here in Wonderland, out of Traverse Town, getting the game started. We're getting into it on our first world, and I really appreciate you guys coming and hang out with me today. It's going to be quite an adventure. What's happening here? Hey, it's the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> he I ran all the way here just for that. Like, Why? he's so dedicated. I know he was late and, like, in a hurry, but the maybe there was, like, some residing. unforeseen traffic or something, but good for him. You know what I'm saying? This girl is the culprit. There's no doubt about it. And the reason <clears throat> is because I say so. That's why. That is Dang. so unfair. Well, have you anything to say in your defense? Okay, that seems borderline reasonable. Of course. I've done absolutely nothing wrong. You may be queen, but I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to be so, so mean. Ooh, Silence. careful, Alice. You dare defy me? Yeah, you gotta tiptoe around that, Biz. Hey, guys, we should help her out. We're outsiders, so wouldn't that be muddling? Whoa, where's Goofy's other eye? Whoa, that was weird. Oh, yeah. Tell me you guys saw that. <laughs> that's against the rule. What the freak? The court finds he went the all cockeyed. Guilty as charged. Yeah, I mean, she didn't have a very strong defense. An attempted theft of my heart. <gasps> Off with her head. Ooh, snap. Oh, oh, Although I guess, Hold it right I mean, there. they have to prove that you did it. All that you? happened was that Alice couldn't prove that she didn't court. do it, which is kind of the exact opposite Excuse of the way me, the court system works. But we works. know who the real culprit is. Oh, uh -huh. it's the Hartman. Oh, come on, Goof. Anyway, she's not the one you're looking for. That's nonsense. Have These you are any not proof? the droids you're looking for. See, he even did like a hand wave and everything. Trying to do a Jedi mind trick on the Queen of Hearts. Bring me evidence of Alice's innocence. Fail and it's off with all your heads. All right, well, great. Now we're all just sniff in the same boat. Gather as little or as much as you like. Report back here once you're ready. Okay. All right. Um, what's up, dude? Go and find proof of her innocence. Okay. What up, Alice? Who are you? I'm Sora. I'm Goofy, and that there's Donald. Pleased to meet you, though I'd wish I would were, were, were words. Reading is hard sometimes. I'm sorry I got you mixed up in this nonsense. This is nonsense. Oh, he said do not speak to the defendant. I kind of wish we had talked to him first, and we would have known that we were breaking them rules. Okay, can't quite jump high enough. That's dumb. You know, that is just... That's so... Uh, put in chests... Right in my right in my view. Oh, we saved. By the way, I just uh, 
hand wave magic of editing. I did see someone suspicious. You. Look at this guy. Look at this guy in the tude. Tone it down, card guard. Nobody's scared of you. Gosh dang, yeah, that was definitely LSD that we took you guys, for real. I actually read somewhere that Lewis Carroll that wrote Alice in Wonderland was on a lot of drugs when he wrote the book. That could be totally wrong. Um, but that's just the knowledge that I've operated under. So, there you go. Don't do drugs, kids. Or you might write a best-selling timeless novel. No, that's not my point. Um, okay, that was nonsense. The cat told us nothing. They've already left the forest. I won't tell which exit. Well, thanks, cat in the hat. You're not very helpful. Oh, four pieces of evidence in all. The fourth is tricky. Big reward if you find them all. See? Now that is a helpful piece of information. Gosh dang it. To trust or not to trust? I'll trust you'll decide. This guy. It's kind of infuriating. This forest is cool, though. It has super defined borders. You see that? And clipping through, just cutting, editing words again. Sorry, guys. Like I said, I'm a little out of practice. It's been a couple weeks. Um, there we go. So look at this. It has, like, defined walls and a ceiling, which you don't see in any of the worlds in the rest of the game. So I'm wondering if it's because it's a book that it's so defined, in which case that's kind of cool and stylized, right? I don't know. I'll trust you'll decide. Gosh dang it. Ooh, what are you, box? Obtained footprints. Oh, is that our evidence? Oh, dang. Cool. Let's give a potion to this flower. And we got a high potion in return. Guys, that's freaking fantastic. I love it. Seems like a good trade. You act on a little bit of faith and it returns your faith fivefold. <clears throat> Ooh, another oh, another potion and a tent. Hey, that was a pretty good trinity. Jumping on these mushrooms is a little tough. Okay. There we go. Ooh, yeah, two hits and you're gone, son. All right, was that the same shadow? What the heck? So that leads into the bizarre room. Let's check out this this area a little bit more before we go on. Okay, that did not work. Uh, oh, I thought I saw an area that we could get into, but I guess it's closed off. All right. Like this, you shadows. Oh, they're so tricksy. I just want to see what this flower wants. More mushrooms to jump on. Look at this. Ugh. They're like rounded and tough to get on. Whatever. Ooh, good grab, Zora. Clutching it. <laughs> Literally. Uh, ooh, we found some. We found some puppers. All right. So look, I know I'm gonna bring this question up again. So we have to find the 99 Dalmatians that are scattered throughout the worlds, right? Ooh, some more evidence. What do we got? Antenna. Weird. Gross. Whatever. Uh, 99 puppers scattered throughout the worlds when their world was destroyed, right? So, my question is, who's taking these dogs, three at a time, stuffing them into treasure chests, and then scattering them, right? Like, we found these dogs stuffed in a box. That's pretty messed up. Who's the monster that is doing this? Alright, I think I'm ready to give this guy a potion to make this big. Because we've explored the rest of the the area here. I'm ready for us to loop on. Okay, wow. <coughs> hey! Nice. Okay. Okay. Alright, wait. Okay, I can't go through there. I guess I'm too big? What are you? What are, what are you? I'm ripe enough to be eaten something something because I skipped it. Not bad. All right, no, I promise I can get this, guys. I'm so bad. There we go. And maybe you had to examine it before you could take it. I think that's what the deal was. So I tried to hit it down, and uh, I just looked like a dumb dumb. I promise, I am pretty good at this game. I'm not like amazing 
I mean, I'm kind of amazing. You'll see, I guess, and you can decide for yourselves. All right, uh, so we raised up that bit, that lily pad. Oh, so we can go, yeah, back in here and jump on these super difficult mushrooms. It just, I mean, I'm doing pretty well at jumping on the mushrooms, but they are pretty precarious. Let's check this action out. What do we got? Oh my gosh. Stench. That's disgusting. But three pieces of evidence. Kaboom, kaboom. Kaboom. Down. Done. Catchphrase. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We'll see if that one works. <laughs> uh, I love doing this, and it is just so stinking good to be back doing Kingdom Hearts making videos I love it all right jumping on these mushrooms you know what it is it's the shape it's the concave shape of the mushrooms even if it doesn't look like I'm having a hard time jumping on them it just messes with your mind or maybe it's all that LSD I took earlier okay we are on a faucet oh my gosh our last piece of evidence oh okay so I'm not gonna lie I fell and then I came back and I did make the jump the second time. So, shh, don't worry about it. I won't tell you, but I'll give you something. Attain the power of ice! We learned the spell Blizzard. That is fan frickin' tastic. Now we have fire and Blizzard. Cool. Uh, okay. So I can't jump back, but that's fine. We will. Just make our way back to the Queen's Castle after killing everyone in the room. I hope it's okay that I skip some of some of the fights. So let's save here. Because honestly, I, I don't know what you guys want to see. But if it's just fight, 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 and it's like... I don't know, I'll show some of them, but I'm sure it's fine that I skip some of them like that so that you can see the story. Okay, so now we're ready to present our evidence to the Queen. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments section. That's certainly a lot of evidence, but I'm still not impressed. Cards, bring forth my evidence. Okay, so you have one box, and we have four boxes. And you're not impressed? I'm hella impressed at us. Checking all five would only be a waste of time. All right, then choose one you wish to present. I'll decide who's guilty based on that evidence. After all the... Yeah, word. Ah, uh, what kind of cockamamie court is this? Who is running this sham of a court? All right, I'm not going to choose that one on the end maybe we'll go with this middle one are you certain absolutely not excuse me that was super gross ah yeah we chose a heartless I think that's good what in the world was that there's your evidence Alice is innocent Urgh. silence I'm the law here article 29 anyone who defies the Queen is guilty that's crazy Donald voice I don't know I can't do a Donald voice. Goofy's easy. Err. But Donald is kind of tough. Uh-oh, guys. All right, see that guy right there? He was the one that was like, I don't know, he's suspicious. You, and I'm going to take it to him. Cards, if they touch the tower, you lose your heads. Touch, touch, touch. Touch, touch. <laughs> oh, dang it. They don't like it when you touch the tower. Ooh, it dropped health, though. Oh, Donald, he's down already. Gosh dang it. Okay, a high potion for me. Don't get, oh my gosh, did you see that? I almost got killed. There you go, Donald, take that, buddy. If nothing else, maybe they can prove as a distraction while I destroy this tower. Donald's dead again. Oh boy, take that. Fire right in your card belly. We gotta pick up some of these magic bubbles or I mean the real priority here is the tower. Okay, so if you uh get the cards down to zero health, they don't go away. They just kinda get knocked out with all of the of you. But then they come back. So we gotta be really careful. Oh junk. Okay, I gotta be super careful here. I am like so close to death and I'm out of items. I don't have any potions left. Because I gave him all of those stupid flowers. God, Oh no! I have one health. Okay, guys. Oh, yes! I'm so powerful! Ah, take that, you card punks. Uh, 
Okay. Ah, they pulled the old Kansas City shuffle on us. Slevin? Anybody? Lucky number Slevin? Isn't that Slevin? Yeah, right? Like, you make them look left and you go right. That's what they did. Look at the queen feigning innocence like she doesn't know what happened to Alice. She's just being a sore loser. That beeping gets really annoying. Okay, so we got more AP when we leveled up at the end of that fight. So let's go ahead and equip Sliding Dash. I'm a big fan of that ability. That is new um, to Kingdom Hearts as of Final Mix, I'm pretty sure. Because I don't remember it in the original. Like I said, I haven't played Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. I've only played Kingdom Hearts 1 on the PlayStation 2. Uh, so that Sliding Dash move is super, super nice. And I'm really glad that we can have that back. Okay, let's go ahead and save. We've refilled our items. We've equipped our ability. We've saved. I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm messing people up. What up? What you gotta say, fool? Without a defendant, there is no trial. Hmm. Another thinker. The queen has spoken. Find Alice at once. Yeah. Oh, it was the two of spades, I'm assuming. So maybe it wasn't. I think that guy was the ten. That I was like, we're gonna get him. But. Wow. That flower just shot out a giant boulder. This is the weirdest place I've ever seen. Uh, so the cat in the hat here has seen shadows. Left, right, up, down, all mixed up thanks to the shadows. Well, thanks, shadows. Step deeper into the forest to the deserted garden. You might find shadows in the upside down room. Okay, I mean, vague, but not as vague as before. Like, still kind of helpful. It kind of gives us a hint as to where we need to be going. Yeah. These large bodies are so tough. Excuse me. These large bodies are really tough. You can only damage them from behind. And they're so big that it's really difficult. But you can beat them. They give you some pretty good experience and a lot of money. Did you see all that money that dropped? And as you guys should know, if there's one thing I love more than treasure chests, it's money. Like M-U-N-N-Y. Oh, see, I thought the cat said deserted garden. What he, like, deserted as in no one's here. I think what he did mean was deserted as in we're going to have tea and cake and, like, dessert. <gasps> but um, I'm sorry, I'll show myself out. Okay, a very merry on birthday. Can we sit in any of these chairs? No. Because there's no room, right, guys? Alice in Wonderland reference. Ha! <laughs> Check. Okay, so we cannot sit in any of these chairs. I have now checked all of them. There are three treasure chests in... Treasure chests, rather, in that room that we cannot get to right now. We'll have to come back later when we have some more abilities. Mamarath's Outgrave. What the heck did I just read? Cat, that was some nonsense. Alright, we need some magic here. Let's use an ether on myself so I can get some magic yeah okay. fight 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 fight's over now of course our friends are knocked out um, because they're kind of terrible right now I can't get up on these freaking lamps excuse me touch. oh see alright I apologize I'm a dummy it says touch uh, but I still try to use my magic fire on it of course the fire wouldn't work, it would just hit the glass. If I wanted to use fire on it to light it, I'd have to shoot fire down the opening deal. You see that? See that time? Touch. Crushed it. All the lights are on. You'll see the shadows soon. They'll arise in this room, but somewhere else. The shadow might shadows might go after that doorknob, too. I remember playing Kingdom Hearts 1 as a kid, and when the cat was like, the shadows will arrive soon, I got like all scared. Dude, I mean, low-key, this cat, he's really cryptic and talking about shadows, like, yeah, he makes me a little scared. I don't know if there's going to be some, like, the conjuring crap happening, like, we go in that room and, like, furniture just starts flying and, like, demonic forces just start, like, blasting us in our face or something. Alright, let's go ahead and save. We did save. Magic of editing and hand-waving! Okay, cutscene. See, this is good. This is that means 
Oh, you'll have a better view from high up. Okay, so if there is a cutscene, that means that you are going in the right direction and you are where you are supposed to be. Let's talk to the cat. Hello, kitty cat. The shadow should be here soon. See, he's, he's scary. Are you prepared for the worst? If not, too bad. Yeah, we're gonna straight die. Whoa! Look at this acrobat, crinkly arm mo. Okay. All right, bring it on, crinkle fries. You and your drumsticks. Look, crunch you. Okay. He is impossible to reach. I think. This... Excuse me. I think the only area we can reach is this. Yeah. So the only area we can reach is this homie's crotch. For real. Unless you want to get on the, take the time to get on the table. Uh, in this phase, he's lit his drumsticks on fire, and now there's a lot more damage. So we're just going to keep trying to jump and hit this guy in the crotch. All right, guys. So I know the video ended really suddenly. Uh, my recording software kind of crashed, and I lost the end of this world and the whole next episode. So here's a little bit of a recap. We continued to hit Crinkle Fries in the crotch until he died. Uh, that was my strategy. It was slow, but if you are playing along at home, feel free to do that. Uh, so after we... Oh, so then the doorknob ends up yawning and there's a keyhole in his mouth and the keyblade magically like and like shoots light out of its end into the doorknob's mouth and you hear a lock and the keyhole locks it's like the keyhole for the whole world um and then we went to the other unknown world in our little solar system here, which is the ba -da -da -da, Hercules Coliseum. And we did some training with barrels and we tried to do the preliminaries, but we got our butts kicked. So it was really hard and we decided to leave and we went to the third world that opened up in the solar system, which is the deep jungle with Tarzan. So look, I know that's a lot to take in, and I am so, so sorry. I hope that my recording software will not crash, and I will not lose an entire episode and a half worth of content again. So just to recap, beat the boss, locked the world, went to the Olympus Coliseum and trained with Phil, uh, met Hercules, then went to the deep jungle. We crash landed in the deep jungle because Sora wanted to be pilot and was fighting with Donald. So now we're teamed up with Tarzan, and we're going to help protect the gorillas. So this is a little bit of post-commentary, just so that you guys are caught up for the next episode. All right? Episode. Episode. So, if you did like the episode, and you are happy that we are finally back on it, drop a like, and if you want to see the rest of the series, be sure to subscribe. I really appreciate you guys and your support. I'm having a blast. I hope you're having a blast. And I'll see you next time.